This is definitely not a zero. It's like a hundred on a scale from one to ten, right? A story that's really just out of this world. Look at that. NASA releasing these first images from the James Webb Telescope. Front row seats were really hard to get, but Christina Van Zels found some in Waukesha. With popcorn in hand and a full house, the Horwitz Doremer Planetarium in Waukesha is set for blast off. It's kind of an event, a milestone in um, astronomy. NASA released five photos from the James Webb Telescope Tuesday morning. This Waukesha dome is one of the sites that got the first images. I was blown away by the involvement of the people here and just the excitement and the calls that we've received. NASA unveiled the first photo Monday. Researchers say they show some of the most distant galaxies we've ever seen. The other pictures give insight into dying and forming stars and five clustered galaxies in color. There's so much out there that we can't see standing here. The pictures that I'm seeing are just like <laughs> uh, really fantastic. There was little space left in the Waukesha Planetarium as people of all ages tapped into childlike wonder. They were so crisp and clean and we were seeing things that we've never seen before. I can't wait to see what else they have in store. How big the universe is and how little we know and how far we have to go yet. I, I just keep getting feeling smaller and smaller. The James Webb Space Telescope Only launched in December. 20 years of work. While the telescope is more than a million miles away, being able to view the images in Waukesha was cosmic. In Waukesha, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. Christina, thank you. And if you want a closer, more interactive look at the photos just released today, we have a link for you on the homepage of our website, fox6now.com. It is so cool. Come